In other news, a local man's receiving the first treatment approved by the FDA for a rare neuromuscular disorder. We introduced you to Jared Laird nearly 20 years ago, suffering from Friedrich's ataxia. And recently, Jared was among the first to receive a new medicine developed to reverse some of the effects. While it might not be a cure, it's a start. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah, you feel good? Oh, yeah. Yep. Hey, how often do you work out? Five or six days a week. He's been in a wheelchair for about 11 years. And while the disorder may have slowed him down physically, it hasn't impacted his sense of humor. Are you getting around okay? I am getting around perfectly. Around perfectly? Yeah, I mean, as good as I can. <laughs> the speech has deteriorated, and uh, the mouth and throat are specific areas that it targets, and also just transferring him from his wheelchair to the car, to the bed, or whatever. Those transfers have become more difficult. Jared began taking a medication last week called Omavexalone. It's the first drug developed that slows progression of the disorder and reactivates genes that were deemed inactive, but only for the last two years. It's tough, you know, when you've waited for years and years and years for um, a breakthrough and then it comes and it's not as much as we had hoped for, but uh, for the most part, he stays pretty positive. You know, he goes to the gym, he hangs out with friends, he, you know, stays busy, so that helps. Jared and his friends have held a number of fundraisers over the years, raising money for research. And while it's not as much as they'd hoped for, he's staying positive. That's the, uh, the main reason I'm doing this. I mean, it might not help me as much, but it will help um, hopefully younger people that have the same thing. If they think that down the road, they could reverse more than two years. So we're hopeful, you know, we'll take it all and he'll continue to do it with a smile. And it's expected to be six months before any results from this medication will be seen. We'll be keeping track of that. Jared and Carrie also wanted to thank everyone who's donated their time and money over the years to help make this breakthrough possible. Favorite story of the Keep day. Going. Best story. Yeah.